Hi, I'm Margie. I hope you enjoy this little video we've produced. Energy Robbers Christmas Christmas is an energy sinkhole, and the aftermath can last for weeks, if you're not careful. Christmas means many things to different people. There are the Christians who celebrate the birth of Christ. And then there are those for whom it is a holiday time, and shop, food binge and get overwhelmed by it all. The romantic notion of Christmas, when family and friends come together in a spirit of love and joy, rarely lives up to expectations beyond childhood. And you know what expectations do, disappoint. Nearly always. In childhood, we just did our own thing, oblivious to the energy play and drama of others. We just got on with it, and enjoyed. Let's be honest, most adults reach Christmas completely frazzled. The shopping lists never get completely finished. The crowds in the shops get denser. Parking becomes impossible. The supermarket trolley won't steer properly under its groaning weight of goodies. Tiredness reigns. Tempers become a little frayed. Our energy goes down the toilet. Is everyone ready to have a good time? Revived with a glass of wine or cold beer, we are ready for the rallies. Individually they are lovable, but as a collective, they can have us spinning, energetically. Time for another glass of wine or another ice-cold beer. Through the glow that alcohol casts, we seem to cope well, even have a good time. But it is short-lived because, it's not the morning after headache that is the concern, it is the energy that we lost, by being surrounded by the energy robbers. Parties and gatherings are prime hunting grounds for those in search of energy fuel. And we weren't aware it was happening. We thought it was all about festive spirit and goodwill towards all men. Uncle Bob sitting in the corner not feeling too good, he's waiting for prey. You go up to him because everyone should be having fun. Right? No wrong, he doesn't want to have fun, or even company, he wants to suck your energy by you either listening to his poor me, or by trying to lighten his mood by bringing him out of his silence. Either way, you are feeding him energy, which he relishes more than his turkey dinner, or after dinner mint chocolates. Or even his drink of choice. Auntie Mavis, or could be mum or dad, a super organizer, trying to get things arranged just as they want it. Overbearing sometimes when people are not quite doing what they have been told. The air getting tense because some are deliberately doing their own thing. Energy stealing is at play. You know that bit of resistance you feel about being told what to do, how and when. Then you shrug it off and go along with it. The slight discomfort that you feel, means that you are losing it, not only your temper or mind, your energy too. By doing what you really didn't want to do, you gave energy, in the form of power, to the super organizer your energy. Of course brother Mike, newly divorced, so drowning his sorrow in the bottom of a glass, is on a search for energy. He's angry, confused, and on the war path of life in general. If you cross that path, you could crawl away defeated. Being a sounding board isn't fun, and a major energy drain. But isn't Christmas about having fun? Well it could be but we need to be conscious about what does us harm. We know that if we eat too much, we will put on unwanted weight that will be hard to shift. We know that if we drink too much, we could ungraciously vomit in our host's treasured flower bed, or get a stinker of a hangover lasting all next day. So, why do we think that we can get away with giving our energy away? The consequences of giving away energy, are much worse than overindulgence. You can be knocked flat for days. 
even get so depleted that you become sick. It's a serious business, letting people steal your energy. Christmas is well past now. There are no visible signs that it happened at all. Except, how are your energy levels? Are you putting it down to all the running around? Late nights maybe? It probably isn't. It is because you have allowed your energy to drain away, you have given it, unconsciously probably, to others. It will take time, and some tender loving self-care, to get your energy levels back up again. A bit of you time on your own, preferably outside in nature helps. I find a garden is great, take off your shoes and dig your toes into the grass. Breathe it all in. Let go of all the accumulated crap in your mind and body. Let your soul see the light of day. And sing, even out loud. It's so therapeutic, pretend the neighbors are deaf. Well, they will be so immersed in their own dramas, they won't notice anyway. Liberation. Regeneration. If you don't manage your energy well, and this applies to most energy sensitive people, avoid being around people for too long at a time. Pace yourself. And always remember those energy robbers are on the prowl everywhere. Look for the signs. Recognize your reactions to people, if you become conscious around others, you will feel when you are giving away your precious energy. And if you have one, wear your new me pendant, it really will help you to maintain your energy levels. Here's hoping that your energy levels soar, this year. Did you enjoy that? We hope so, because here at Life Energy Designs, we want to educate you so that you can live the best possible life that you can. Any feedback or anything that you want to say to us, we would love to hear from you. Take care. <laughs>